Knowing what kind of RAM you have is important if you either just want to understand your PC's overall performance or more importantly if you wish to replace or upgrade your PC's memory. So in the previous part of my RAM 101 series, I talked about how you can determine the total amount of RAM through various ways by either right clicking this PC, going to properties and looking at the about section of your PC, specifically the installed RAM field or by going to system information and other utilities such as task manager. I did not get into the details about how to determine the exact kind of RAM you have in my previous video. So as I always do without beating around the bush let's get into the details about what kind of RAM you have installed. While there are many ways to figure out the exact specs of your PC's RAM I recommend the free utility CPU-Z. Now there are many other free to use utilities out there such as Specky or HWinfo that you can also use. But I personally just find CPU-Z an excellent and handy utility for determining the specs of my PC hardware. Anyhow, with the utility downloaded and running, head over to the memory tab. Now the memory tab tells you the total amount of RAM and also what type it is, which in my case is DDR4. Now this is a very important bit of information if you wish to upgrade or replace your RAM stick. You want to make sure that the new stick that you buy also belongs to the same type which is again DDR4 in my case. DDR3 or DDR5 RAM sticks will simply not work. But knowing just the RAM type is not enough. The speed and brand is also worth noting. Luckily, you can comprehensively determine what kind of RAM you have by heading over to the SPD tab at the top. The SPD tab gives all the important details regarding the RAM stick installed in each individual RAM slot. You can select the RAM slot and understand the details of the RAM stick installed by clicking on the memory slot selection drop down menu here. Here for me with the slot 1 selected, I can see that it has a DDR4 RAMs installed, but I can also see the nitty gritty details such as its operating frequency which is 3200 MHz. The 1600 MHz can be ignored because DDR stands for dual data rate and hence 3200 MHz comes from multiplying 1600 by 2, but we can save this detail for a different video. In addition to that, it also tells me the brand name which is Kingston in my case as well as its serial number and even the case latency. Before we move on guys, I just want to say one thing. I strive hard to make videos that are short. I could make YouTube algorithm love me more by making videos that are longer and tell stories upon stories wasting your time in return. But my aim is to give information without beating around the bush. All I ask in return is that you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Most viewers are not subscribing and that is discouraging. Anyhow, let me get back to explaining stuff. Now when upgrading the RAM, the most important bit of information is again, number one, the type of RAM or the DDR version should match. So in my case, if I wanted to upgrade, I would get a DDR4 RAM stick. The second important bit is that the frequency should also match. So in my case, if I were to upgrade, I would get a 3200 MHz stick. If I go for anything higher or lower, the entire PC memory will operate at the speeds of the slowest RAM stick. The same is true for case latency. They should ideally be matched. If not, the entire memory will again default to the slowest stick. And the third is that the size of the RAM sticks should also ideally be matched. Meaning, if you have an 8 GB RAM stick already installed, then your new RAM stick should also ideally be 8 GB. Otherwise, you may face issues with RAM not working in dual channel mode properly. And finally, it is preferable to match the RAM brands and even models. And again, there are instances where you can certainly mix RAM sticks around, meaning have RAM from different brands, operating frequency, and size, it is just that mixing RAM sticks is not the ideal way to go. So that is my take on how to figure out what kind of RAM you have installed. Again, I like to keep things simple. If you learned something of value here, then all I ask in return is that you leave a like, comment and perhaps subscribe to my channel. It will literally take a second of your time. Thanks.